Harold Stark. Uh, I'm 89 years plus, and this is my 31st year helping up here at the Indiana State Fair at Pioneer Village. And it's been a rewarding experience over all these years of seeing some moms and dads bring some little children who are still in diapers, and they've grown up now and have families of their own. And But it's the people that come to the fair that remembers and, and come back and visit with you each year makes it real, real rewarding. What we're showing them here today is where this country has advanced and progressed from hard manual labor prior to World War I or after the Civil War, all the way up through the Industrial Rev Revolution, what we have today, what the kids today are enjoying is byproducts of the space age. My grandfather, my mother's father, raised his family on an 80-acre farm down in Rush County, and uh, the farm only had about uh, 50 acres of it tillable. The rest of it was a little Blue River run right through the middle of it. And he had a, a, a large steam engine, a sawmill, a big separator, a clover hauler, and then he had, would help back in probably before World War One use that big engine and help pull the road rear. He said several times where they helped build three mile stretches of county road back then. And I got involved with the helping him when I was nine years old, polishing all the brass. And then when I got a little older, he'd take us on Sunday to do a drain the engine and do a boiler wash so he get got all the sediment and the uh, dirt out of the boiler so it wouldn't wouldn't destroy it. You know, I learned start to dart it in at, at that age and then studied it. I built this engine. Uh, first one I built a small one inch scale and I had an uncle that was real good on steam and he said, Bud, why didn't you build one we could ride on? And I thought that was a good idea and I went home and started making uh, prints and sketches out of a 1909 catalog and then I found a full-size engine and took measurements off of to finish it so I built that engine in from started in 1974 and finished in 79 and I built it as a memorial to my grandfather and all of my uncles and I had two other individuals was important in teaching me everything about steam and mechanical engineering. Well, I've always been like a, a mechanical minded. I, I was always amazed at something that how it worked and moved. And when I was very small, even six, seven years old, I had an aunt that recognized that uh, trait of me and she'd furnish me old alarm clocks that wouldn't run. I'd clean them up and fix them up and get them back to running. <laughs> Last, last year, I got the surprise of my life here at the State Fair because I never thought that I would get any kind of an honor whatsoever, and I received a nice Partner in Progress Award from the Lieutenant Governor Becky Skillman of the state of Indiana, and it was a shock to me because they led me into that over there, not telling I didn't have any idea what was going to happen until they gave me the program and I saw my name on it, and that's when... I found out my wife was sitting behind me, and I don't know how they sneaked her onto the fairgrounds, but that's when the floodgates opened. <laughs> it was such a tremendous surprise, and I've felt honored ever since. Well, I told the people when I retired from Allison that I wasn't going to be like the average retiree, get myself in a rocking chair and sit on the front porch and watch the cars go by as they went down the front in front of the house on Meridian Street. I said, I'm going to keep busy. I have done that. Well, the, the proudest uh, part of me and being involved with the State Fair is how I have been able to work with some of the younger ones and repair the equipment so that the future generations can enjoy it for quite some time to come.